episode is actually brought to you by Mike's Paintball. That's why I was uh, wearing this shirt. Uh, but I have something really cool for you guys today. Uh, one of our viewers uh, sent me in uh, some game footage, but that, that's not cool. We have done that before, and I love doing this kind of stuff. But uh, he's from Germany. I, I think it's crazy that we have viewers from all over the place. Um, so uh, shout out to all my international viewers. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, yeah, just thank you. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into a playing critique. So something he did mention was that the camera doesn't pick up his voice that well. So uh, there's always room for more communication anyway, so I won't mention that. Um, I would keep up your, your stream of shooting uh, more. You can hear like the spurts in between there. Uh, and you should have filled out faster uh, once, your, once your guy died. Uh, something else too is uh, get off both your knees uh, because if you need to move, um, it's going to take you too long to get there, and as you start moving up in the ranks, you you'll see that the, the window of opportunity to move from one bunker to another is going to shut really, really fast. Um, there's nobody shooting at you. Um, I I'm guessing you're trying to stop a guy in the snake. Um, I would have moved over to that other Aztec or gone out to the corner or gone up to uh, that, big, uh, that big can just to shoot down on them, because uh, ultimately that guy can still crawl around that snake, uh, snake cake and move up into the snake two or three. You can't really stop that. Um, so, uh, you know, once he gets in, it's gonna be hard if he lays on his stomach for you to get over there. But if, even if you can get into the snake and match him, that's gonna be better. Um, ultimately, yeah, I mean, it worked out. You, you end up winning this point. Um, but these are just some, some things that, that I noticed. Okay, so this was uh, immediately after that, that last point uh, I'd, I'd seen when I'd done editing. Um, but um, you putting your, your gun down like this to reload is terrible. Don't ever do that, um, especially with the position that you're in. Uh, you need to keep that, that lane up. Um, I'm guessing that, that it wasn't really a slide. It was more of a fall. Um, it looks like just that turf is just super tough. So um, I don't really want to critique that. Um, but I would be careful with how you're diving because it seems like you're landing on your shoulder kind of hard. Uh, and you can pop your shoulder out of place. I've seen guys do it before, so just be careful with that. Um, also, uh, this was a great move uh, when I was watching this. This is awesome to take as much ground as you can and, uh, and get up there. Again, you can see that um, the turf wasn't exactly forgiving, um, but I'm not really sure who was stopping you. Um, there, now, now you have somebody shooting down your tape, but you might have actually been able to move up to the next, uh, the next uh, little cake there. Uh, if you had just forced it, uh, especially now, like there's nobody shooting at you, um, get up the field. Uh, don't don't wait for for things to happen. Make them happen. Um, like this, like you could have you could have made this move that you're about to make uh, way earlier and, and finished off this game. Alright, so the leaning was good here. Uh, it seemed like it was pretty good, but again, you, you have this this sputtering. I don't know if it's just your hopper, maybe you had uh, low batteries or what. Uh, but you don't have a consistent stream, and somebody that's quick is going to be able to get through that that break in the paint um, a little bit easier. Um, I know that the turf is tough to slide on here, it looks like. Um, but uh, something that I wouldn't do here, you see that your teammate is looking the same way as you. Um, that's not good. You either want to cross it up or like you have it here, where um, you're seeing what's going on, you're able to, uh, to adjust to what's going on in the field, but I'm not really sure what's stopping you from, from moving out. Uh, you could probably get out to that other Aztec or get out to the corner. Um, you know, you, you want to spread the field as much as possible. Uh, you don't want to just go and uh, uh, wait for a movement. You know, you be the one that, that makes that movement to uh, keep the other team on their heels. Uh, you want to be on your toes all the time. Don't let them put you in a corner. So this was good keeping in your uh, your mirror and, and that, that corner, but again, it's only a couple steps to get into that snake. I, I would I would be shooting your mirror in, um, shooting up over the top and wrapping um, to uh, put in whoever else is, is keeping you from getting into the snake and uh, make that movement. Um, I don't know if you're just not as comfortable in the snake as other people or, or what, but uh, if you're going to be that front guy, you, you got to get in that snake and, and force the, uh, the other team to adjust to you rather than the other way around. Um, I do hear you communicating periodically, so that's good. Uh, if if <laughs> even with your, the microphone on your, your camera isn't the best, uh, you still are, are communicating loud enough that even sometimes it's getting picked up. Um, I don't know if I necessarily would have gone up to this uh, this can. I know that you can stand up in it, which is good, but it's not the the widest can. Um, and if you've gotten into the snake, then you you can play and wrap that whole tape. 
uh, and, uh, and and not let the person be able to make a move out wide on you and you can also shoot people a little bit better cross field rather than going up the center which can be a good move sometimes but in this instance I don't think that was the best move was to go up the center it should have been going out wider to the tape on the snake side so again, I keep hearing this little sputtering. I don't know if it's something with your gun or, or what, but um, you want to keep a consistent lane so that uh, the other team isn't able to get through that uh, like that, like how you have it. Um, I, I don't know what, what it is with this sputtering. Uh, I, again, it could be a hopper issue. I'm not really sure. I'm not in Germany with you. Um, but I can hear you talking again, which is good. Um, and you're reloading while you're shooting here, which is what you should have done earlier. So this is good. Uh, maybe somebody told you about it, uh, but that's a good adjustment because you always want to have your gun up, especially when you're back center um, and, and trying to help out your, your other team. Um, but if nobody's shooting at you, you know, try to see if there's something that you can do. Try to push your other guy up. Um, I don't know why uh, you guys are playing so defensive. Um, kind of seems like you, uh, what we call grow roots and uh, just like to stay in your spot. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's crazy that we're over like 1,800 subscribers now. Um, and that's all you guys. Uh, I mean, it's like I said, it's crazy that we got viewers that are international, uh, that it's not just in the US, that we do have people from all over the, the, the world. Uh, and that's crazy to me. And I really appreciate it, guys. Um, so uh, I hope that this video helped you out. Uh, I, if you want to keep doing these types of videos, I'm completely fine doing uh, critiquing videos of your playing. Um, it helps me out, actually, because, uh, I mean, I can see things that maybe are lacking in my game that, that I can see. I mean, it doesn't matter if you've been playing, you know, a day or, you know, 30 years. You, you can learn something new from everybody. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, how, how long that person's been playing for. Everybody can teach you. So that's one thing I, I will leave you with is stay humble. But as always, remember, watch, learn, and win. Thanks.